come over here. That is your seat. That is true. Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. President Stone. Good to see you. 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 Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Gentlemen. Mr. President. Good to see you. It's our first arrival. And when I saw you, I said, you're very welcome. So, <laughs> yes, you, you, yes, that's the only time. No, please. Well, Mr. President, it's good to have you back. I'm delighted you're able to make the trip to be here. And, uh, you know, uh, it's an honor to be by your side in the United Defense against what is a brutal, brutal war being waged by Putin. 300 days, hard to believe, 300 days are going through this, and Putin has waged a brutal assault on the Ukraine's uh, right to exist as a nation. And, the attack on innocent Ukrainian people for no reason other than intimidate. And he's escalated his assault on civilians after cleaning schools, orphanages, hospitals, landmarks. Uh, it just, uh, it's, uh, and he's trying to use winter as a weapon. And, uh, but the Ukrainian people continue to inspire the world. Uh, I mean that sincerely. Not just inspire us, but inspire the world with their courage and how they uh, have chose the resilience and resolve for their future. And the American people have stood proudly with them, Democrats and Republicans, together with our allies in Europe and Japan and other places, to uh, make sure you have the financial, humanitarian, and security assistance that is needed. We're going to talk about that today. And uh, we're going to continue to strengthen Ukraine's ability to defend itself, particularly air defense, and that's why we're going to be providing Ukraine with Patriot missile battery and, uh, and training your forces to be able to accurately use it. Together with our partners, we're also going to continue to impose costs on the Kremlin, and uh, we'll support Ukraine pursuing a just peace. President Zelensky, the United States stands with the brave people of Ukraine. We stand with you, and you've been a great leader, and by the way, we have a famous thing that occurs once a year. We pick the man of the year at Time Magazine. You are the man of the year in, this, in the United States of America. And so welcome. We have a lot to talk about. And the floor is yours, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Great honor for me to be here. Your journalists, I thank you so much for the invitation. I really wanted to come earlier, Mr. President knows about it, but I couldn't do it because the situation was so difficult. And now, if I'm calm, I came, I um, mean that we control the situation and because of the support, and first of all, because of your support, and I really, I understand that we have very important topics and we'll discuss them, everything, so many challenges in Ukraine, in Europe, in the world, and from energy to situation on battlefield, but, but I, First of all, I really, all my appreciation from my heart, from the hearts of Ukrainians, all Ukrainians, from our nation, strong nation, all the appreciation to you, first of all, Mr. President, for your big support and leadership. Of course, you in many countries helped us and are helping now because the war is not over. It's a bit, but anyway, but that is your leadership. Thank you, first of all. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Of course, thanks my partisan support, thanks Congress, and, and thanks from our just ordinary people to your ordinary people, Americans. I really appreciate. I think it's very difficult to, to understand what does it mean when we say appreciate, but but you really have to, have to feel it. And thank you so much. Great honor to be here. And uh, yesterday I was on the bus in Bakhmut. That is the place on uh, the east of our country. You know it, all the details. We have so many phone calls. And 
gospel detail about it. And I want to give you something. One guy is really a real hero, real captain. And he asked me to pass his award. And he asked me to pass his award to President Biden. And you will understand. He is the captain of Heimer's battery. Yes, he's very brave, and he said, give it to a very brave president. And I want to give you that is the cross, cross for military merit. That is one. Oh, God love you. Yes, that is from him. And, and I have the list, he wrote the list. Yes, I didn't read, Mr. President. I can't read. It's not my, it's in Ukrainian language, but hear that translation. Thank you. And his name is, I have his name, I can contact yes, him. Yes, yes, yes. Pablo. 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 Well, undeserved, but much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, thank you, thank you. I he said that to all, many, many, his brothers, the system saved. So, thank you very much. Well, we have a tradition here, and I will give it to him. My son, who fought in Iraq, uh, they have what they call a command coin. You've seen those coins yeah, yeah. in the battlefield? I will make sure that he gets one of those. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What a great honor. Thank you. Thank you so much. For me, thanks. Just for him. Okay, I will give him. Big problem, you know, that thousands of prisoners they took our soldiers, and the problem, a real problem for us, because if they come back, if they run from the battlefield, they kill them. That region now, oh, it too much, and they are sitting, and they are going. One uh, last example, Hillary killed all of them. Only one was alive, and he prolonged. So that is the problem, and that's why the situation is part of difficult. Each day, the situation changed. One day we can... In the uh, understanding, look at the launch and counter... Now we have a few more people in there. <laughs> <laughs> see where that guy with the camera is? That's your seat. I see. Mm -hmm. We can do this. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. My vice president can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I yield the floor to you? Why don't you tell us what your major concerns are, what you'd most like? Oh. Don't look like you had a <laughs> <laughs> That's great, also. But anyway, so the air defense is more for us. And really, that we will not prolong to survive it. You know the answer to what will be. I'm winning. There will not be Ukraine. That is real situation. How to win? That's why what we need is to win. I will not ask is how to live in winter, how to go through this winter. The first, this, the first problem is air defense. Italia, for example, Sancti, the name, they have it. Uh, two days ago, we got from Macron stations an energy network. So that is about air, air defense. I, I will, I will, yes. Zahar direction. I wanted to see what's going on in all these regions. I wanted, and what going forward, we have victory. And now I see that it will be, it will have power. So the second one is to be powerful 